Okay, check my speaker. Hello, 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 people. Good. Good evening. Do you hear me nice and clear? Gerardo? Good evening, teacher. Thank you so much, Sebastiana. It's Good nice to have you. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you so much for joining. As you may know, we're going to have, this is the end, right? This is the end of this module. Thank you so much for being here. We're going to have a bunch of practice on today's class. I got extra material for you to practice a little bit more on this content. I love your background, Sebastiana. Yeah, your virtual background is, is good. Thank you. Oh, I love it, right? Yeah, it's, it's like a spring. That's the way I feel when I see it, right? <laughs> Catherine Suleyma. Hello, Catherine. Yes. Oh, yeah. I'm seeing your your picture on Zoom. This is quite interesting. You have some flowers over there. And there is like a rancho behind you. Yeah. Yeah. There's like a rancho. Oh, this sounds pretty amazing. Also, Roberto Carlos is here. Hi, Roberto. Welcome. Good evening. Are you are you working, Roberto? Yes. No? Uh, Irma is here. Hello, Irma. Good evening. Nice to have you. Hello, teacher. How's Hello, it going? How's it going? I'm fine. Thank you. Awesome. Good. Thank you so much. Marvin is here. Hello, Marvin. Welcome. Good evening. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good it's evening, nice to have you. What a nice picture you have here, right? Yes. That's that's nice picture. Thanks, teacher. <laughs> yeah. Some, looks, it looks pretty amazing. We're going to work with section number five, as you may know. This is our last class, which is number 16. And we get today we're gonna have messages with tell and ask. Yesterday we were working a little bit on this one, and today we're gonna get a little bit deep on this one. Anna Isela Janis, welcome. It's nice to have Hello, you. Teacher. Do you have your cuetes ready for this Christmas? No. No. Okay. Para el carnaval, sí. <laughs> oh, that's good. Yeah, carnaval. Yeah, San Miguel Carnaval is, is celebrated this is going to be celebrated this this weekend, right? Yeah. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. Thank you so much. I, I saw a video where it was this guy, um, the principal of the city was fighting with some people. Yeah, yeah. So that's that's not good, right? Yeah. Are you gonna are you gonna be there like at the carnival, Anna? Um Oh, that's good. That's good. Okay. Thank you so much for sharing. Okay. Um, let me see. Okay. Thank you. We're going to start with some information. Look at the picture in here. Please um, do me a favor. Um, Irma Suleyma, look at this picture here. Describe it, please. What do you see here? Okay, and look at five people. And the she his um a customer and eating people eat eating table. Venta, o sea, sell, sell y venta, ¿verdad, teacher? Excuse sell. me. ¿Cómo se dice venta? Perdón, sell, ¿verdad? Mm, oh, I, I don't. Like venta, like, like, like the product. Like, like the products. Okay. Uh, the products of tacos. Oh, okay, so the restaurant, the restaurant. The restaurant. Um, is 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 taco, right? Yes. Okay. It's is the bar of China food. Oh, Chinese food. Okay. Chinese and, and this food. is Mexican food, right? Mexican food. Okay. What is the name of this area where you can find this kind of places? This is com we uh, who food court. Yes, right. We have food courts in some malls. We had food courts, and there we have some 
a small restaurants. Yes, right. Uh, fast food, very much. Do you like tacos? Do you like Mexican food, Irma? Yes. Oh, why? Um, I am prepared. Um, mayonesa. Mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. Uh, like me. Tacos with oh, so, mayonesa. Oh, so you prepare tacos? You you cook tacos? Oh, that's incredible. Oh, that's good. That's good, right? Yes. What about Chinese food? Do you like Chinese food? Yes, spaghetti. Oh, with spaghetti. Um, okay. Um, okay. Rice. Rice also. Yeah, that's with, popular. With chicken. Exactly, with orange um, chicken. Vegetables. Right? Vegetables, exactly. Vegetable with eh, salsa dulce, no sé cómo se dice. Que ketchup, pero no es ketchup, es como una salsita que le ponen ellos. Orange. Orange sauce. Orange sauce, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, that sounds delicious. Sounds delicious. Thank you so much, Irma. Very good. Well done. Uh, Ana Isela, please read this information, please, about uh, the US and Canadian cities. Thank you. Okay. Most US and Canadian cities have restaurants that serve food from many different countries and cultures. Chinese, Italian, and Mexican restaurants have been very popular in North America for a long time, but now there are also Japanese, Thai, and Indian restaurants in most cities and small towns. Many people like the order to order food from restaurants for delivery to their homes. Chinese food and pizza are common home delivery type, types of food. Thank you so much. So this is like restaurants and food from these two countries, right? Do you think, do you think that we have um somehow a similar situation here in El Salvador when it comes to this kind of restaurant, Sebastiana? Excuse me, teacher, I'm sorry. What is your question? This information about um U.S. and Canadian cities, right? Where yeah. we have restaurants that serve food, like Chinese, Italian. Do you think like here in El Salvador, we have this kind of restaurants and this kind of food available? Yes, of course. There are many uh, types of restaurants in El Salvador. For example? In, um, Italian, Italian food? Okay, in this case, Chinese, Italian, and Mexican restaurants? Yes, there are a lot. In um, how can I say Centro Comercial, mall. a mall, mall, yeah. in different malls in our country. What about what about a small towns? Do we have this kind of food? Mm, it depends. It depends because uh, the the population <laughs> in our country or depends uh, the cost. That's correct. Because the cost of foods in in this case. That is correct. And also, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Everywhere I go is crowded. Yeah. It's is full of people. I don't know why, but uh, I don't know. Uh, I I go to some places, and it's crowded. Yeah. yeah. There are people making lines. Uh, there are people waiting for things. Even at these pizzerias, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. where well, we have pizzas for five dollars. There are people like little in limes. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, people yeah. waiting in limes. That's unbelievable. Very good. Thank you so much um for that comment, Sebastiana. It's wonderful. Uh, Diana Cristabel Melendez. Hello, Diana. Welcome. Good evening. Hello, teacher. It's nice to have you. Question number one: What type of foreign food are available in your city? Like where you live. Where do you live, by the way? I live in Tonsuewa. Okay. So what types of foreign food are available in San Jose Guayabal? 
Where is foreign? Foreign is food from other countries, like Mexican, Italian, Chinese. Um, um, great. Like in your town, San Jose Guayabal, do, do you have restaurants with Chinese food? Uh, restaurants that sell, I don't know, Italian food? Or, or um, maybe American food? Um, Mexican. Okay. Very good. Yeah. But what about what about a China work? Something like Chinese food, I guess. Well, I, mean, I don't know if that's Chinese food, but that's the, the way they sell it. Diana? What? I mean, is is there a Chinese restaurant in your in your city in your town? Um, no, and um, no. Mexican, Mexican food. Just Mexican food. Yes. Do you like Mexican food? Yes. What's your favorite? I like, um, tacos. Okay. How um, often do you eat those? Like, how often do you eat tacos? Yes. It means like like how often how often do you eat tacos? Like once or twice a week or once a oh. month? Once a month. Oh, okay. Thank you so much for sharing. Very good. Thank you, Marvin. Question for you. This one here. This is about like which ones, which ones, right? Are the most popular with you and your friends and family let's say when you go out marvin when you go out marvin and you want to have food out um which ones are the most popular that you have with your relatives well the most popular for example when i share or sometimes when they i earn it birthday always uh, my family buy a Italian pizza, for example. And another one is sometimes my family buy a, I don't know, is include this pollo campero. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. Yeah, pollo and campero. That is the another one that with my family, sometimes when we celebrate is with the, with by pollo campero. Oh, that's great. Remember that pollo campero, it looks like Salvadorian food, but it's from Guatemala. Right. So Yeah, you're right. Yeah, so it's not it's not from El Salvador, it's from another country. It's Guatemalan food, right? The only one I think that we have in El Salvador is Pinolito, right? I guess that's what <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I guess that one. Yeah. <laughs> um and but I think I Teacher, that is very amazing because, for example, I can see whatever place you go, you can find a little store about the Pinolito. Oh, for example. yeah, now, now it's very popular. Yeah, now it's just like everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah. I think I hate it nowadays because it's everywhere. <laughs> it's like Don Pollo. I hate it because it's everywhere. Everywhere you go, there is a. It's the competition. Right? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. It's like that's the business. That's the business, right? They, they, um, uh, compete each other yeah they they don't care about because they have money right like if they, if the business doesn't work they they just like move on yeah, let's get another place and i think pollo campestre is salvadorian i guess right correct me if i'm wrong yeah i never try i never tried pollo campestre in my life yes um also there is another one pollo bonanza here in san salvador but i never try i mean i just saw it on the news but i never try i don't I'm, i don't i don't like to do that yeah so um teacher um i i saw pollos pollo real i believe oh, pollo yeah. real is salvadorian yeah it's salvadorian oh really yeah i never try pollo real mm. i never try I, I will do it uh, before i die uh, <laughs> <laughs> i will try to do it 
Yes, uh, that will be one of my purposes of being alive. Yeah, trying uh, these this new things for El Salvador. Thank you so much. Very good. We're going to have the grammar part about uh, the topic. Yesterday, we watched this video, and I want you to watch it again so you can take a look on the grammar. Here we go. Let's listen and watch. Teacher, we can hear. I apologize, people. Yeah, I apologize. I thought I was sharing audio, but it's not the case, right? Oh, Jesus Christ. Give me a minute, please, so I can fix this one. Sorry about it. Yeah, sometimes. Oh, thank you so much for letting me know. Okay. Let's continue, shall we? Now let's go over on how to take and give a phone message using the verbs tell and ask. Get your papers ready and take notes during the explanation. Page 103, exercise eight, grammar focus. Messages with tell and ask. Statement. The meeting is on Friday. Messages with a statement. Please tell Anne the meeting is on Friday. Please tell Anne that the meeting is on Friday. Could you tell her the meeting is on Friday? Could you tell her that the meeting is on Friday? Would you tell her the meeting is on Friday? Would you tell her that the meeting is on Friday? Request. Call me this afternoon. Messages with a request. Please ask him to call me this afternoon. Could you ask him to call me this afternoon? Would you ask him to call me this afternoon? When leaving a message, we may state the information or request something. The way to do it when we leave a message with a statement is as follows. When leaving a message, we may state the information or request something. The way to do it when we leave a message with a statement is as follow. Tell plus person plus that plus the statement. And because we want to be polite, we may add please, could you or would you. Notice that is in brackets because it may be omitted. When leaving a message with a request, this is how we should do it. Ask plus person, plus two, plus the request. Again, we use please, could you, or would you to be polite. Ready? This is the statement I want you to work with. Our next class is on Friday. Please write three possible statement messages as shown on the chart. And this is the request. Meet me this afternoon. Again, Please write three possible request messages on our discussion box. Here we go. As you may know, we have this thing from yesterday. When we talk about statements and requests, this is the message, as you may know. This is the message, as you may know. What we're going to use is tell and ask. To explain you the following information, we are going to have one of your classmates that is always ready. That means Kathy Jornada dos Cruces. Thank you so much. Do me a favor and explain what do you understand from this, let's say, information. Good evening, teacher. 
Um, it's about the the rules that we learned yesterday. That is correct, exactly. Okay. Um, we use for the statement. Uh, to uh, please go and uh, go. Lo usamos con tell. And when it's a request, we use ask. And when it's a negative one, we use not to be. No, we no, just just the word not. Okay. okay. Just just the word not. Okay. This this one can change. You know what I mean? This one she can change. This one, not to. This one, yes, but the verb may change, right? Not to clean, not to speak. Okay, we can change it to that one. But not not to. Very good. Thank you so much, Kathy. Yeah. So this is the way it goes, right? This is a statement. Right. Una pues, un enunciado, right? Un enunciado. Y este es un request. Para los requests, vamos a utilizar ask. Para los dos, vamos a utilizar siempre please, could, would. Cuando utilicemos could and would, va a haber un question mark al final. Cuando utilicemos please, no. Right? No question mark here at the end. Yes? Yes? Entonces, usted tiene que identify cuando es un request y cuando es just a statement. That is the key. Once you identify that is a statement, you go with tell in the message. When you identify that is a, a request, you go with ask in the message. Okay. The difficult part is to identify si es un request or si es un statement. Right? So based on that, we're going to use tell or we're going to use ask. Yeah. So that's, that's the difficult part on this one. Yeah. So, um, yes. Any question about this? Questions? No? Okay. Let's practice a little bit. Give me a minute so we can carry on. Okay. Here we go. Page one. We have this exercise. Read the message. What did the caller say? Write the message. Another way using tell or ask. For example, we have here Mr. Jumps. Here we have the meeting is at 10.30. Arrive at 10 minutes. Arrive 10 minutes early. If you see this one, the first one is a statement. The meeting is at 10.30. Yes, this is a statement. Yes, es como que le pongan en la pizarra, the meeting is at 10.30. Just like that, right? Arrive 10 minutes early is a request. Because it's a request, we utilize our ask. El primero, because it's a statement, I'm going to use tell. Yes? Let's work with number two. Mrs. Rodriguez. I'm sorry, Miss Rodriguez. We need to report, we need the report by noon. Call Miss Brady as soon as possible. So which one is a request and which one is a statement? Let's work with the first one. We need a report by noon. What is this? A request or a statement? Francisco, what is this? A request or a statement, Francisco? Mm, what guess? On request? Yes. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Este solo es un statement, okay? Solo un statement. Very good. Ahora, Francisco, como es solo un statement, ¿cuál utilizo? 
tell or ask? Mm. We siempre con we tell. Okay, very good. So this is like like this one. Would you tell like this one? Tell. Yes. Okay. What is next? Who who's the person? Hey, Francisco. Who's the Who, person? Who's who's the person? person? Esta persona. ¿Para quién es el message? El message. Mm. ¿Para Miss Brady o para Miss Rodríguez? Miss Rodríguez. Miss Brady. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Incorrect. Miss Rodríguez. Miss Rodríguez. Exactly. Miss Rodríguez. Sorry. Ah, for para. Exactly. Okay. That's correct. Yeah. Okay. Would you tell Miss Rodriguez? Uh-huh. Miss Rodriguez. Mm -hmm. We need. Mm -hmm. Very good. That we need. We need the, the report. Mm -hmm. By noon. Yes. Jesus, se me corta esta cosa. Ah. I'm sorry. <coughs> I apologize. Report by noon. Yes, es que esta cosa se cortó. Ay. Yeah. Voy a tener que escribir aquí. Okay, would you tell Miss Rodriguez that we need to be the report by noon? Very mm -hmm. good, Francisco. So, this is a statement. Esto es, what is this? A request or a statement? Maybe. Uh, es como quien envía. No, I'm sorry. No, no. This is call Miss Brady as soon no. as possible. Ah, es el señor que llama entonces. Mm -hmm. O como. That is correct. La persona que llama. No. O, no, o el señor que llama. No, I'm sorry. It's like, call Miss Brady as soon as possible. Cuando usted lee esto, ¿qué cree que se es eso? ¿Es un statement o es un request? Um, request es pregunta, ¿verdad? Exacto, right. Exacto. Es, eh, es, como, lo es como un pedido, como un favor, right. Uh -huh. yes. Entonces, cuando usted lee, call Miss Brady as soon as possible, ¿Qué le suena para ustedes? ¿Es un, una, una oración normal, right? O, o algo, un enunciado, or is that a, a, a request? Una petición. Pues, una petición porque le está diciendo que sí es posible ¿no? que le haga eso. Uh, no, as soon as possible uh -huh. es tan pronto sea posible. Yeah, that is correct. Ah, tan pronto sea. Entonces no es quest. Ok. Eso sería solo una statement. Yes. A statement. Statement, yes. What do you think, Kathy? Excuse me? Kathy? Yeah, Kathy. Kathy. Uh -huh. What Kathy? do you think, Kathy? I think it's a request. Exactly. It is a request. Okay. Porque, right, le dice, call Miss Brady as soon as possible. O sea, yo le pido, right? Hey, llamale, right? Llamale. As soon as possible, right? Ese es un request. Yo solicito, right? Oh, please, llamale. En el primero, no, right? No es un request, porque solo le digo, hey, necesito el report by noon. That's all. So I don't, I don't add more details about it, right? I just say it. But in this one, it's a request. Yeah. Why is a request? Porque depende de la persona, right? Yeah. Si la persona quiere, lo hace. Si no, pues no, right? But here is just, I'm telling you. It's como una order, right? Mire, I need the report by noon, and that's all. Yeah? So, so, but here is a request. Entonces, ¿cómo comienza el request? How do I restart a request? Uh-huh. Anybody? Cool. Perfect, good, good.
Who do you ask? Ask, very good. To Mr. Brady. Um, Mr. Brady call. Mrs. Brady or Mrs. Rodriguez? Is Brady. No, I'm sorry. Mrs. Rodriguez. Rodriguez. Yes. What is next? Call. To call. Mrs. Brady. As soon as possible yeah so could you ask mrs rodriguez to call mrs brady as soon as possible yeah that's the way it goes right beautiful very good then we have number three this one is for oh let me see what time is it oh my gosh Okay, I will finish this one and then I will take the attendance, okay? This is for Mr. Welch. So the new laptop is ready. Pick it up this afternoon. So this one, the first one, is a statement or is a request? A statement. It is a statement, uh, very good. So what is the sent, what is the message here? Mm -hmm. Please. Please, very good. Tell Mr. Wells. Very that, good. That the new lectern is ready. Yes, very good. Do you hear when I type? When I type, do you hear when I type? Yes or no? When I type these letters, do you hear that? Yes or no? No, teacher. Oh, that's beautiful. I love my headset. Yeah, this thing is incredible. <laughs> <laughs> so like, cause, cause I live, I live like near the street. There is like a bunch of people passing by like uh, this last this señora that sells tamales there is another uh señor that sells choco bananas and paletas right ice cream and a bunch of things there is a señor that sells quesadillas yeah and a bunch of people that that like, i don't know use the street and you don't hit nothing whatsoever right oh that's that's why i love my headset yeah i love it that's fantastic Okay, I'm sorry about it. Okay, so so this one is, please tell Mr. Wells that the new laptop is ready. Very good. So the second one is a statement or is a request? It's a request. It's a request, right? Because you need to do an action, right? You need to go there, pick it up, this, right? Very good. How do we begin the request? Tell me, please. Could you ask him? Okay, good. Gosh. Could you ask him? Okay. To pick it up. Pick it up. Very good. This afternoon. Beautiful. Okay. Question mark at the end because we have could, right? When we have could and would, we're going to have the uh, question mark at the end. Okay. Very good. Very good. So one more time. The difficult part here, la parte difícil es identificar si es un request o si es un solo enunciado, right? It's a statement. That is the difficult part here. Yeah. Once you identify that, you're free to go. Attendance list. When you hear your name, please say present or I'm here. Aguilar Hernández, Sebastiana Guadalupe. I'm here. 
Thank you, Alfaro Alberto, Roberto Carlos. Present. Good evening, nice to have you. Cruz Guzman, Oscar Otoniel. Cruz Guzman, Oscar Otoniel. Thank you, Oscar. It's nice to have you. Welcome. Dos Cruces, Kathy Jornada. Present teacher. Thank you so much and welcome. Flores Hernández, Andrea Esmeralda. Flores Hernández, Andrea Esmeralda. Here, teacher. Thank you so much. Good evening. Nice to have you. El Grande de Cuellar, Irma Zuleima. Good evening, teacher. Thank you so much. Landa Verde Arias, Marvin Alejandro. Present, teacher. Nice to have you. Lopez Martinez, Francisco Valdomar. Present, teacher. Thank you, gentlemen. It's nice to have you. Melendez Rivera, Diana Cristabel. Present, teacher. Thank you so much and welcome. Mendez Miranda, Jose Edgardo. Present, teacher. Thank you so much. Good evening. Perez Leiva, Ana Ruth. Thank you, Ana. Good evening. Poca Sangre Escobar, Catherine Suleima. Present. Thank you so much and welcome. Salazar Larios, Catherine Nicole. I'm here, teacher. It's nice to have you. Good evening. Tepa Sanchez, Gerardo Jose. I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much and welcome. And Janes Angel, Ana Isela. Present. Thank you so much. I'm sorry because they changed the way we say the names. Yeah, so that's why it was quite different, right? That's the way they have it, and that's the way it goes. Nothing else I can do about it. Okay, let me give you more examples about this thing. The dress one is going to be about something that is quite interesting. I love this one because this one is negative. If you see, this is the request. Don't call him today. Don't go home. In the message, I can write, please ask Jan not to call him. Could you tell him not to go home? So let's begin with number one. This is the message here, as you may see. Hi, Michael. Don't come to the airport until midnight. The plane is going to be late. What is this one? A request or a statement? Request for me. Is a re request for me. Okay, somebody else with a different answer? Or do you agree with uh, Marvin's answer? Uh huh. What do you think, Esmeralda? Flores Hernandez. Is this a request or a statement? Okay, so is that is a, a request? What is the sentence, Marvin? Uh huh. Maybe we can use please, could, would. Could you tell him? Not to oh, go. Oh, okay. Home. okay, so now now remember that yeah. tell goes with requests or statements. Request. Where yeah. you ask. Well, all of these ones are requests. All of these ones are requests. Right? Oh yeah, you're right. How, <laughs> however, 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 um, vamos a usar los. Okay, so could you tell me? Could oh Jesus Christ. Could. Oh my God. Could you tell? Uh huh. Who's the person? Tell not. Michael, very good. Could you tell Michael? Do not. Oh. Excuse do me. Come. Do not come. Do not. Do we use the auxiliary? Uh, uh, 
Yes or no? Not to come. Beautiful, Catherine. Not to come. What's next? To the airport. Uh huh. Until midnight. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, do you have a different opinion? Could you tell Michael not to come to the airport until midnight? Beautiful. Very good. The next one. That's going to be number two. Let me move this one here. Hey, Lucy. We're meeting at, Pet at Pet's house before the concert. Don't forget the tickets. Is that a request, teacher? Okay, very good. So, how do we begin the statement? Please, what is next? Ask. Beautiful. Ask. Who's the person? Lucy. That is correct. Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oopsie. Please ask Lucy. Uh -huh. Not to forget. Beautiful, not to forget. What was the thing? The, the um, tickets. The, the tickets, that's correct, right? Yeah. Here, no question mark, porque tenemos please, right? Please ask Lucy. Oh, look at this one. What is this? Not to forget the tickets. Yay. That's good. Beautiful. What about the number three? What do we have in number three? Chris, this surprise party starts at noon. Don't be late. What is this, a statement or is it just request? Request, teacher. Let's see. Can you give me the sentence, please? Thank you. What is the sentence? I'm going to use would. Would you. What is next? Ask or tell? Tell. Okay, so uh -huh. is this a request or a statement? Ask. Sorry. Ask. Sorry, ask. Chris. Chris, that's correct. Chris. Not to be late. Not to be late. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not to be late. Okay. Yeah. Any comment about this? Somebody wants to add a comment about this answer that we have here? Would you ask Chris not to be late? Would you ask Chris not to be late? Kathy, what do you think? It's good, right? Yes, but maybe we could ask uh, uh, for the surprise party. Or... Okay. What, what Not about to be late Kathy? To the surprise party. Okay. What about Kathy? Can you read it with the verb that I added? Please, Kathy. 
Would you tell Chris not to be late? Now read with the other verb, please. Would you ask Chris not to be late? Which one sounds better? Would you ask? Okay. Can you repeat it, please, once? One time, one more time. <laughs> Would you ask Chris not to be late? Okay. Now repeat it with the other verb. Would you ask no would you tell Chris not to be late? Okay. Maybe so... it's, would you tell? <laughs> okay. No, no, no. Because you told me that ask sounds better. So so now <laughs> now you're telling me tell so, so you just you, you, you pick one, let's say. A big one. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Irma, what do you think? Which one sounds better, Irma? Ask? Or tell. Ask. Okay, please read the sentence, Irma. When will you ask? Please not to be late. Please now, can you read it with tell? Will you ask? No, no. Which, would you? Well, would you tell? Uh huh. Please not to be late. Okay. Very good. So, so for you, ask is the is the correct one, Irma. Uh, what you what you tell? Okay, no, I mean, <laughs> yeah, because you get confused about that. No, tell me, which one do you want? Which one do you want? Ask or tell, Irma? What you what you ask? No, okay. Which one do you prefer? Con cual se queda? With ask or with tell? Ask. Okay. Uh, Kathy? Yes, we ask. Marvin? We'll tell. Francisco? Ask or tell, Francisco? Ask. Ask. Okay, thank you. Sebastiana? Uh, it sounds good with tail teacher. <laughs> okay. Ana Isela? It's tail teacher. Oscar? Okay. Uh, Suleima? Pocasanga? Tell. Okay. Diana Cristabel? Tell. Roberto Carlos. What you tell? That is correct. Tell is the correct answer here. Okay. So in here, it's not ask, right? Yeah. So it's like it, it is a party. It is a party. Que ya está arreglada, right? And you just need to tell him. Would you tell him? Would you tell Chris not to be late? Yeah, so the correct answer is tell. So this is a statement. Okay, yeah, don't be late, right? Don't be late. Suena como request? Yes, that's true. Suena like that one. But at the end, si usted lo fija en context, right? It's just, solo le digo, right? Hey, don't be late. Yeah, I'm just saying, don't be late. Right, because yeah, everything is arranged. Everything is done. So just don't be late. So that's why we use tell. Very good, people. Thank you. You see? Yes, no, man. That's very good. That's very good. Very good. The next uh, exercise is for you. Uh, let me see. Andrea Esmeralda. Hello, Andrea. How's it going? Andrea? No. Okay. What about Catherine Nicole Salazar? Hello, Catherine. Welcome. Good evening. It's nice to have you, Catherine. Nicole, can you participate, Catherine? Yes or no? I think she's not right. No, you're busy. Okay, no problem. What about you, Jose Edgardo? Can you participate? Yes or no? Um, Catherine Suleima, can you participate? 
No, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, let me see. Okay, let's work with you, um, Irma. Thank you so much, Irma. You're very nice. Okay, you're very nice. Tell me, please, describe the picture. Where is this guy? What is he doing? What is his profession or occupation? What is he wearing? Please. He he uh, he is called a um, meeting soon. Yeah, he's in a in a in a Zoom meeting, right? Uh, his computer on, on the table. Okay, there is a table or maybe desk. That is correct. Uh, is uh, ir, ir, uh, lo ido, ir. Okay, very good. Micro, microphone. Yes. Okay, how do you call these things? Yes, yes. This one. Let me, um, let me point to those here really quick. Oh, because I have it in the other side. Okay, here. What are these? What is the name of this object? This is a micro, micro phone. Yes, it's like we call it um, headset. Headset, these are headset. Headset, okay. The is is his. Se me ha ido la palabra, teacher. Sorry. Here, here. No headset, headset. These are headset. Headset. Yes. Headset. Um, wearing. Wearing is yes. cam is cam is suit suit. Mm, no. no, when there is a um, when there is no jacket, so that's not a suit, right? Here is just a. How do you say camisa in English? Shirt. Shirt, that is correct. Sure. And what about this one? Corbata. How do you say corbata? How do you say corbata in English? Tie. Beautiful. That's correct. Tie. Very good. And what is this object? What is the name of this object here? It's computer. It is a computer. That is correct. Okay. What is his profession or occupation, Irma? Office. No, his profession uh, or occupation? Call. Uh, call center. Call center. Call center agent, right? Yeah, it's a call center agent, maybe, right? That's correct. Very good. Yeah. Thank you so much. And, and what is he doing, Irma? What is he doing? What is he doing? Mm -hmm. Okay, what is he doing? See, see soon. Meet soon. soon meet. Okay, okay. He's in a meeting. He's in a meeting, uh, in a soon meeting. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Great job. Okay. Um. <laughs> Because I was watching his entradas, right? Yeah, like like the ones like in Lourdes Colón, right? Look at es this muy one. Frenudo, pero no puedo decir la <laughs> forehead, right? For the big forehead, right? <laughs> yeah. That's good. That's good. Nothing here, right? It's empty. That's the yeah. way it looks sometimes. Yeah. With the big entradas, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Very good. We're going to practice a little bit more on this one. 
Okay. So um, let's see. Here we go. Choose the correct words. Hello, Mackenzie. Corporation. May I speak to Mr. Scott Myers, please? Which one is next? I am busy. I am sorry. What is the correct option? I'm sorry. Yes, I am sorry. Yes, I am sorry. I'm sorry. He's not in. Busy. Can I leave? Can I take a message? Can I take? That's correct. Can I leave? Can I take? Can I take a message? That's correct. Yes, please. This is Mr. Brown. Which one do we use? Would or please? Please. Okay. Would. Would. Exactly. Would. Look at here. Look at here. There's a question mark, right? Because it's a question mark. Would. Okay. Would you, what is next one? Tell him that asking to. I have to schedule our meeting. My phone number is 303-555-9001. So which one is? Would you tell him that or would you ask him that? I'm sorry, would you ask him to? Yay. Uh -huh. Yes. Anybody? Will you tell him? That is correct. Very good. Tell him that I have a schedule. Why tell him? Because of this one. Look at this one. I have. Yes. And here we have two. So that means if I have two, I need to have a verb. But I don't have a verb. I have I. Okay, so very good. And what is the next one? Please or could? Easy, easy, right? Uh-huh. Could. Very good. Could. Why could? Because he's... A question. Because it is a question. Yeah. That is correct. Very good. Okay, question one. Could you, then we have asking to call me or ask me to call him? Ask him to call me. Excuse me? Ask him to call me. Let me double check. Ask him to call me, right? Could you could you ask him to call me? Could you ask him to call me? Very good. Very good. Okay, Mr. Brown. I'll I'll give him or tell him the message. Tell him. Excuse me? Tell him. I'm sorry, it's going to be give. Um, give him, okay. Yes. Because here we have take. Can I take a message? Yes. Right. So it's like, okay, I give him the message. Thank you very much. Okay, dog. Yes. This is the way we work on this one. Yes. So, uh, we finished with the exercise. Um, igual quiero agradecerles a todos por su valioso aporte, right? Si los felicito y les agradezco por su apoyo. Igual si les, um, también si les, les, les agradezco por aguantarme, right? 
y escuchar My Horrible Voice in this module. Okay, you're so nice. Eh, congrats to all of you. Eh, para all, all, todo el esfuerzo que hacen on this one. Ya yeah, sé que pues a veces es un poquito difícil, pero pues a ah, ustedes han pues esforzado eh, lo más que, que han podido. Right. Si los motivo a continuar siempre esforzándose, right? Eh, little by little. Y es practice at home. Utilice las phrases, right? Esas phrases que usted le dice a su esposo en la mañana o a su esposa. Oh, good morning. How are you? Okay. Here is your breakfast. Here is your lunchbox. Okay. Yes. Esas phrases, por mínimo que sea, right? Le ayuda a lot. Yes. So, so you can have confidence. Okay. So, úselas. Eh, if, if I don't see you in the future, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Take care. Bye bye. My pleasure. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Thank pleasure you for everything. Thank you. Good night. Bye. Good night. Thank you.